Lasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of SG610005 series surge generator. The following is the video catalog. 1. System wiring. 2. Search test. 3. Other types of search generator. 4. Error self, inspection and maintenance. 5. Use an oscilloscope to view the search waveform. Please check the packing list and there is one wooden box. The 6KV and below 6KV search generator is a small wooden box, and the equipment is a small desktop search generator. 10KV and above is a large wooden box, and the equipment is a grandfather generator. The wooden box also contains a small accessory box. The coaxial line is used to connect the oscilloscope to view the search waveform. The sample input line is used to connect the isolation transformer to the search generator. The sample output line is used to connect the search generator to the sample. Grounding line Power cord The search generator must use together with an isolation transformer. This is our isolation transformer and its packing. An instantaneous large current pulse will be returned during the surge test. The isolation transformer is used to protect the system and power on the sample. Sample box is optional. It is used to protect the operator. The sample is placed in the sample box during the test. Lasun can customize different sizes sample boxes according to your samples. A wooden table is needed according to the standard. Take out all hardware and accessories. The search generator system does not need to be installed, and only need wire connection. The method of using search generators with different voltage output is the same. Here is an example of Listen SG610056 KV touchscreen model. Place all equipment as shown in the figure. Connect the ground line for the search generator. Any output terminals of the transformer can be connected to the search generator. Pay attention to the correct LNPE sequence. For safety, make sure the air switch is off. There are also two output ports on the front panel of the search generator used to connect to the sample. Any one of them can be used. Connect the sample through the sample box. If there is no sample box, you can directly connect the sample. Connect the power cords of the transformer and the search generator to the power source. The other ports of the search generator don't need to be connected. Turn on the search generator after the system is connected. These two ports are the oscilloscope interface. Connect the oscilloscope here if you want to view the search voltage and current waveform. You can use a USB mouse here to control the device. A pen drive also can be used here to export the test data. Set the search voltage. Search polarity. Search interval. Number of search. Phase angle. Coupling direction. If you need to use the same search voltage but different polarity, phase angle, and coupling direction in the same test, you can use the auto function. Click to enter EUT parameters. You can set the upper and lower limits of the voltage and current of the sample and the upper and lower limits of the surge peak voltage and peak current. There will be a prompt when the limits is exceeded. No setting limits doesn't affect the surge test. Turn on the air switch. Click EUT power on the screen and the sample will be turned on. Click start to start the test. The screen displays the real-time test data.
click EUT power again to turn off the sample after the test. Then turn off the air switch. Repeat step 2.1 if you need to test other samples. If you need different surge voltages and other parameters in one test, you can directly click program. Add. Enter the program name. Enter different surge polarity, voltage, coupling direction, interval time, number of surge and phase angle. Click next. Click OK after you set all the steps. Then you can directly run programming test. All test records will be automatically saved in system settings test records. You can view or export test data. If you do not need to test other samples, confirm that the touch screen surge test is in the off state. Wait at least 5 minutes. Turn off the surge generator after the internal high voltage energy storage capacitor discharge fully. SG610005SA and SG610005NA, 4.8 kV, 6 kV economic version. No touch screen, no test data, no auto function or program, no oscilloscope interface. The connection method is the same as SG610005. The following is the button's operation method. Set search polarity. Search voltage. Search interval. Synchronous phase angle. Number of surge. Coupling direction. Synchronous and asynchronous switch. Other settings no need to be modified. Turn on the air switch. Press EUT to turn on the sample. Press the green button to start the test. Press the red button to stop the test. SG610005SB and SG610005NB, 4.8 kV, 6 kV touch screen version. No oscilloscope interface. The operation method is completely the same with SG610005. SG610005H, high voltage surge generator. Including 10 kV, 12 kV, 15 kV, 20 kV, 30 kV, and so on. Depending on the object under test, the built-in CDN can be single phase or three phase. The left ports is non-CDN surge output, which is generally not needed. The safety earthing switch on the back needs to be always on. The other operations and functions of the equipment are exactly the same as SG610005. The following are the maintenance methods. If the search generator fails to boot, please check the fuse at the power socket. If the fuse is not damaged, please open the equipment carefully and check whether the varistors are burnt in the other side of the power socket. The fuse and varistors are used to protect the instrument. If there is a problem with the power supply, the fuse, or the varistors may be burned. Please ensure the stability of the power supply of the instrument. If necessary, you can buy license regulated AC power supply. If the power shut down when the surge output, please confirm whether an isolated transformer is used. An instantaneous large current pulse will be returned during the surge test. It may reach the upper limit of your company's leakage current protection switch and cause a power outage. If the sample can't turn on, please check whether the air switch is turned on. For safety, it must be turned on or off in time. Turn it off when the test is over, and turn it on again when the setting is OK and it is ready to do a new test. Listen will update the software in time to meet the latest standards or add new functions. We will send you the new software and guide you to update it if there is a new version software. 
The following video is about how to use the Lassoon OSP oscilloscope to check the voltage and current waveforms of the surge generator. This is the appearance of the oscilloscope. Here are the accessories. If we use it to test the waveforms of the surge generator, we only need to use the coaxial cable of the surge generator. We check the voltage waveform first. Search generator settings, search voltage, positive 1 kV, coupling direction, L to N, interval, a short interval such as 5 seconds, search number can be set more, so that we can view each waveform conveniently. Then use the coaxial cable to connect the search generator CROV port to the oscilloscope. Turn on the oscilloscope. Press the menu key under trigger button. Select the corresponding channel for the signal source. Select normal for trigger mode. Click to the next page. Choose rising for slope. Press the CH1 button. Set the probe multiple to 1x. Turn off the current measurement function. Lassoon Search Generator has a built-in 1 to 1000 high voltage probe at the oscilloscope interface. Set the search voltage to positive 1 kV, then the actual voltage to the oscilloscope is positive 1 V. Rotate this knob. Set the vertical axis of the oscilloscope to 200 mV per division so that we can view the complete waveform. Rotate this knob. Set the horizontal axis time to 10 microsecond per division. Adjust the left and right, up and down position knobs to adjust the waveform display position to a suitable position. Rotate the trigger button. Adjust the trigger level to the approximately middle position. Directly click start on the touch screen of the search generator. Then click go on without power. The oscilloscope will receive waveform data after each surge. Without modifying any settings, use the two vertical cursors to view the time to half value. Set the horizontal axis to 1 microsecond per division and wait for the next surge. Set the two vertical cursors from 30% to 90% of the surge voltage to view the front time. Then we check the current waveform. The setting of surge generator is the same as when viewing the voltage waveform. Short circuit the surge output terminal L and N. Use the coaxial cable to connect the CROI port to the oscilloscope. The internal resistance of the surge generator is 2 ohms. So set the vertical axis of the oscilloscope to 100 mV. Set the horizontal axis to 5 microsecond. Other parameter settings are the same as when viewing the voltage waveform. Output the surge in the same way. Without modifying any settings, view the current time to half value. Set the two vertical cursors from 10% to 90% of the search to view the current front time. Thanks for watching.